The following is an example of how we can calculate a correlation coefficient. Today we'll be looking at the hours of TV watched for a student versus their GPA. When we start a correlation coefficient problem, we're going to first start by looking at the variables. So in this problem, we have the x variable is the hours of TV watched and the y variable is the student's GPA. So here we have the data the x data and the y data. Now in order to calculate the correlation coefficient I'm going to use the following formula. Of course this looks a little clustered and a little scary so like the previous example we're going to use a calculation table to make this a little easier on us. So this is my calculation table for this problem. I have here the x variable column and here the y variable column. Down below I have all the summations of each of the different columns depending on what it is. So for example the hours of TV watch which is my x variable I have the summation here which is just all the variables added up together. And the y variable, the GPA summation is all the y variables added up together to give me the summation of y. Similarly, I have the xy column, which is just the x variable multiplied with the y column. I have all my values here, and in the bottom I have the summation of that. And going on, I have the x squared column and the y squared column, and the summations of those. Once I have all my values, I can plug all those values back into the formula and solve. So here I have plugged back all the values into the equation. I'm going to tough this out and work it out. Finally, I'm left with r equals negative 19.85 over 20.0533, which is r is similar to negative 0.9899. What I can conclude from this correlation coefficient is this correlation coefficient suggests that the two data sets have a strong negative correlation. Therefore, one would say that there is a strong negative correlation between the number of hours of students watch TV daily and the GPA obtained by those students.